guys, it's Joel from Narrow Road. Uh, I just wanted to share a quick tutorial with you that I think r really enhances some footage that, you know, for your wedding films or whatever you want to use it for. It's just a cool little trick that I found just messing with our own videos. And I thought I'd share it with you and hopefully you enjoy it and can add some flavor to to your videos. So let me go ahead and show you kind of the the, the look real quick and we'll go from there. Alright, so that's the look. It kind of has this dream refraction, like you're shooting through glass type of feel, and I think it's a really cool look. I love, I kind of love the dream vibe, and you know, I just, I think this look with like some voiceovers, you know, sounds really good and looks really good. I mean, you could just kind of picture something like... Jonathan, I have always loved you. You mean the world to me. And because of that, I can't picture living in this world without you. You are my world. Or, you know, from a guy's perspective, you'd be like, I can't wander around this world without you. Julie, I love you. Let's keep dreaming together. You know, there's just stuff you could do. You got Arnold. Hi, how are you? What are you doing over there? Why don't you come over here? I'm here. Okay, you guys get the idea. So, that's the look. We've seen the look. Well, let me go ahead and just get into how to make it happen, okay? So, you're going to start off with your footage. You know, make sure you got your, your clips kind of have like you know, they're cut to where you want it and you have your color correction on it that you want, your LUTs, your looks, whatever you want to use to make your footage look pretty. Start off with that. Get your clip looking nice, getting it cut where you want. And then we're going to do a simple hold down the option key, make a duplicate. So we're going to make a duplicate. Okay. So we have this duplicate and wow, look, it's already looking amazing. Just kidding. Nothing happened. So get your clip go to the masks in your effects browser over here on the right if you're in final cut and just do a little shape mask something simple now this is this is the important part though because wherever you put your mask you're gonna put the focus of the clip and in this clip between this couple you know the action is here in between them right like this kiss and the look the way they look at each other it's a powerful it's a powerful shot so that's the focus so we're gonna move the focus there and we're just gonna kind of bring this down a little bit you know to get the focus right on where we want it so that's the mask now over here we have our mask we're gonna invert it and then we're gonna add another color correction and this is gonna start messing with everything outside of the box so that's why we inverted it so if you see me mess with the exposure, you see how it's just messing. Look, look at that. It's not touching anything inside the mask. Okay, so that's what we want to do. We're going to kind of blow these the background out a little bit, soften it up, make it look wider. Okay, step number one. Step number two is we're going to go to the blur section down here and click the, the focus blur. Look, it's already, it's already getting there, Johnny. I said it's already getting there. Okay, it's... It's getting there. Go to the scale, do like 130%, whatever feels right to you. And you have this duplicate layer that is kind of creating that refraction look. If you see like right here, he's got a duplicate ear, but it doesn't look quite right just yet. So we're gonna bring the opacity down a little bit and you should start to see, you know, it's kind of creating that look now as if you're shooting through glass. So then you just kind of tweak it. I mean, that's pretty much the simple steps. You know, it's starting to look good. I would like to go in. I don't really like this green here. So because we have this mask, I'm going to come into the saturation and just bring the saturation down. That way the focus is again just on them and the attention is not being drawn out here. I want it to look, I want, I want you to look right here at them. Okay, so 
there's that. Um, let's see. Let's watch it. It looks like the mask is a little bit too big, actually. I want to make it... Let's make it smaller. Whoa. And bring it in so we can see some more of that. Some more of, like, the refraction look going on. So check it out. Cool, right? Super simple. So that's kind of that's kind of the step. So here's the the one I created earlier. I blew it out a little bit more. You know, it's a little bit wider, but it's the same steps. You see the duplicate layer that's creating that refraction look. I did I added like a yellow highlight just to kind of warm up the the whites a little bit on this one. But you you see what I'm doing. You should be catching it. Same thing with this. Look, click 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 on your clip. Hold down the option key. We're just making a duplicate layer, however you want to do that. So there's the duplicate, nothing special happening. Go to your masks, go to your mask, shape mask. Where's the action? Where's the action in this shot? Right here, then the smooches on the neck, okay? That's the action, that's what's happening here in this clip. So we're gonna focus on that. Now that we have our mask, don't forget to invert it because we're gonna focus on the stuff outside of this area. So we're doing a little inversion. Go back to your color, get your color, bring up the exposure a little bit. So we're bringing up the exposure on the outside of the clip. You don't have to go crazy. Okay. Now we're gonna go back to the scale. Go ahead and punch in whatever feels right to you, whatever you wanna do. Okay, so you got your scale. Now then we bring down the opacity so that we could start to see through some of it a little bit. Again, making that glass type of look. So look at that. I mean, you got it looks like it looks amazing. I don't I feel like there's too much double of her face, so I'm going to move the mask a little bit. It's kind of I'm just going to bring it like right there. So now we should See, super simple. It's a really super simple technique. There's only a couple things I'm doing, but it just makes it look like a dream. It's that flashback type of feel, man. It's awesome. Okay, same thing with this one. You know, it's like this shot by itself. It's okay. I mean, all these shots by themselves are, are pretty, you know, like they're still pretty shots, right? Like if that's all you had to work with, it, it's fine. It's fine. But we're going to just create that dream type of look. So for the last one, again, um, click on your clip, hold down the option key, make a duplicate copy, go to your masks, masks, where's the action? I mean, they're kind of walking, so this one's a little different, but I mean, the action still, it's between them. It's the love, it's the interaction between them, man. So I'm just going to kind of do a little, a little focus on them right there, bring out this feathering. Don't forget to invert that puppy. Invert it, go down your color. Let's bring up the exposure on the outside a little bit. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now we're going to bring the scale up to about 130, whatever feels right to you. And then bring the opacity down a little bit. Now let's see. This one could use a little more. Let me see this mask. Yeah. Let's make it more dreamy. Okay. Boom. That's pretty much it. I mean, you you guys see what I'm doing, right? Like, there's no nothing crazy. But it creates that cool type of look. So, again, I mean, here's, here's the regular clips, you know. Still pretty. Still usable. Pretty cute moments, a little walking on the beach. This already kind of looks dreamy a little bit, right? But when you just add a little bit more, oh man, just adds that, wow. Okay, one more time.
that's it you guys so super simple you're just duplicating a layer adding a little mask a little blur a little color pop and then you get this really cool type of refraction look comment down below let me know you guys liked it or if it's lame and you like the original footage better that's fine that's fine to each his own but i just i like adding a few clips in the wedding films with little extra texture and hopefully this this helps you to add some more fun stuff to yours so thanks so much for watching you guys